All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Picasa to import and edit and then upload your photos. So the first thing you're going to want to do is import the photos from your camera or from your hard drive, wherever you've saved them to. So you just come up to the Import button in the top left corner. And then we're going to choose to import from File. Uh, that's or from folder. That's one of our options here. Now I was lucky because my removable drive popped up. That's where my pictures are right now. So I'm going to be able to just pull them right off of there. All right. So I'm going to go in. Here are the pictures that we took today. So I'm just going to shift and click on the pictures that I want to select them. And then down at the bottom, it says import to. Where do you want to import them to? So you choose that. I'm going to leave them in the my pictures folder. And then I'm going to put them in a folder within that. Okay. Then it asks, after copying, do I want to leave the card alone or do I want to delete the pictures that I moved over? So Picasa also serves as a photo organization and storage piece of software, so, which is really, really nice. If you have a Mac, it's similar to iPhoto in that way. Macs like take your photos and kind of organize them by event. Picasa will do the same thing. Okay. All right, so I'm going to leave those alone, and then I'm going to import my selected photos. And it brings them into what I'm looking at right now is called the library view. So this shows me all of the pictures. There aren't a lot on this computer, but it shows them all to me, and they're organized by event or date. Okay. So I might crop it down as well. Just say, I just want her in this photo and apply. There we go. Now we've just got her in the photo. Okay. Um, if you like to scrapbook, I need you to raise your hand right now and repeat after me. I promise not to touch picnic until after my assignment is done. Okay, because picnic is scrapbook heaven, digital scrapbooking. It's awesome. Okay, sorry. All right. So we can then go into tuning if we so choose, and we can up the fill light even more. So we could like totally blast it out, bring it back down. I'm not looking for pretty for this assignment. I'm looking for you to play. So if you want to make the pictures look pretty great, if you want to just go nuts, you can. Color temperature makes it more orange, warmer or more blue, colder. So you can find what you feel is the right balance for this picture right about there. Okay. And then effects allow you to, for example, make it sepia toned. And then we can undo everything. So this program is non-destructive, meaning that it doesn't actually ruin or make permanent changes to anything. You can undo everything you've done within this program. Okay. All right. So maybe I'll tint her green, apply, and then I just go back to library. 